Good morning, everybody, from the Florida State Fairgrounds. Guess where we are today? The Tampa RV Show. That's right. We are at the Florida RV Super Show. So if you know anything about shows, there are two really big ones that happen every year, and Florida is the first one in January. So we are excited. They should be revealing a lot of the new 2024 floor plans. I hear there's a very like customized fifth wheel that hopefully we'll be able to see. Brinkley's here with all their new models. So much to see. Yep, so in this process, we're gonna go through, show you a bunch of RVs, but we're definitely gonna show you our top three for families, so stay tuned. First up, we saw the new Brinkley Model Z Air 295 travel trailer that made its debut at the show. We started off in the spacious master bedroom complete with a residential queen size bed. There was wardrobe storage on both sides of the bed along with another closet space with drawers and hooks for coats. You had a space to mount your television and a closing door for privacy. The bathroom features a residential size shower with body jets and updated finishes. In this model, your kitchen opens up to the living room with a large island. There is bar seating, pull-out double trash cans, and even hidden dog bowls for your furry friends. Instead of a dinette, you have a large row of theater seats with the removable table. You also have a generously sized TV on a swivel for those bad weather days. What I loved most about this model is the hidden double full bunks in the back with a separate door. It's like having an extra bedroom for guests and kids. This model is expected to be available in summer 2024. Now on to our top three RVs for families. First up, we saw the Midwest Automotive Passage, which is a converted Sprinter van. This particular layout had seating for seven, but only sleeps two. In this Class B, you are riding in luxury with plush leather seats, an HD TV, and multiple outlets to stay connected and charged. The kitchen cabinets have dovetail drawers with soft close slides, along with a microwave, refrigerator, and recessed cooktop. In the wet bath, you have all the essentials needed for a quick cleaning. The lounge space has an additional TV and will convert into a large bed for sleeping. All of this on a diesel chassis with a 27 gallon freshwater tank, 24 gallon gray water, and 14 gallon black tank. This van is surely up for some epic weekend trips. Oh, hey, hey, yeah. oh, hey. oh man, how are whoa, you? how you doing? Hey, nice to see you. <laughs> nice nice doing? See you. Yeah. Welcome, Welcome. thank you. <laughs> Have some stickers. Oh yeah. Uh, Awesome. Nice to see ya. He's a little taller than me. Yeah, you're a little taller than me. Thank you. Thank you. Man, that is one contraption there. That's right. It's the Class A wagon. Yeah, I love it. I love it. What are you guys looking at today? Oh, a little bit of everything. Nice. Yeah. Nice. A little bit of everything. Well, I mean, you're in the best place in the world, actually. Yeah. So you got your Class A's and your fifth wheels and everything. Yeah. I just got word that they, we're up in North Carolina that they doing a job uh, up in North Yeah, we're Salisbury. making one in Charlotte, yeah. in the Charlotte area. Yeah. Well, Salisbury, yeah. 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 We're up in Greensboro. Wow, wow, that's very cool. Yeah. How's it going? Yep, that's Will. There you go, Will. There's Big Will, he's corn fed. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. So Daddy great to see you guys. If you guys see something you like, let us know. We'll, we'll get you the best price in America. That's right. That's right. Mass cash. Yeah. Right. They're doing the prime food. And oh, the prime, thank you. Carson. The prime shower. Carson. Oh, yeah. Yes. And the shower. Carson. Yeah. Yeah. Will does the shower. He does. Shower okay. Food. Well, I watch him when he steps out. Yeah. Well, he's oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I was going to say, he does that. Andrea does balances. Oh, yeah. See, everybody yeah. I just wait for Will to get into the shower. And then as soon as he gets, <laughs> I'm like, right, I can fit. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Enjoy thank the show. You. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're walking through. We just seen Matt and Will. Uh, and their wives. And their wives. <laughs> and, uh, 
awesome. Had a, still talked to him for a few minutes, talking about some of the things that we're looking at. Everything is uh, is everything's going good. It's so much fun here. See, I'm walking by, I see a whole bunch of toy hauls right now, and we're on our way to look at some more stuff. After seeing Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, our stroll took us to the Influencers Meet and Greet. Here we got to listen to Dwayne and Belinda from All About the Banks share their experience of going full time. We first met them last year at the same RV show while in the Vendor Expo. They shared a lot of wisdom about making the leap to full timing and how to get rid of stuff along the way. While here, we also ran into Anthony and Danya from Roland Whitdom Revs. We met them at the Adventure Bandits Bash in October. Lastly, we bumped into Juan and Jennifer from RV Adventure Explorers. Getting a chance to speak with all of them and reconnect was a great experience. Please go check out their respective YouTube channels for more amazing content. All right, so it is Saturday morning and we are back out for day two day of two. the Florida RV Super Show. So if you didn't know, when you buy your ticket, you automatically get a second day entry for free. So plan wisely. You do not have to get it all done in one day. So we're about to head down to Winnebago. We're gonna hit up Thor today. Um, we'll probably go look at some more buses, fifth wheel, I mean a little bit of everything. Yeah, we're gonna look at a whole bunch of stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Right now we're trying to get some class B, see what we think, how it fits up the fam. Yeah. And, uh, Hopefully we um, have some surprises for you in the future, so <laughs> we will see. Where you going, Avery? You going to school? Say beep beep. Show mommy how you drive. Beep beep. New for 2024, Keystone revealed the Montana 3915 TB, which is a dual suite model. A lot of brands have started moving to offer a double suite model in hopes of appealing to people camping with extended family or even another couple. With sleeping for six to nine people and two bathrooms, this fifth wheel can cater to a lot of different needs. One of the big things that sets it apart is the seating space in the living room, which offers theater seats and a three-person sofa. Normally, this is not found on double suite or bunk models. The kitchen is on the smaller side, but very functional. It opens up to the living room where you have seating for five, not including the dining room table. The guest suite has a queen bed and tons of storage for longer stays. The attached bathroom has excellent shower height, even for the tallest of guests. There is a separate entry door, making this a true private oasis. In the loft, there are three bunk mats, which is great for kids, I'm five foot six and I was able to climb into the loft, lay down, and sit up straight without bumping my head. The main bathroom had a wide rectangular shower with body jets. The master bedroom featured a king size bed, large closet, and washer and dryer hookups if needed. This fifth wheel is great for extended trips with a lot of people or even full time living. You can fit up here, but it's a test. So, He's being mean. Ain't nobody being mean. So, we walked through the scene of Montana, had the double bunk. That was excellent. Yes. Double sweet we've been, with the bunk. We've been walking through looking at a bunch of Class B's, uh, Sprinter Vans. So, trying to find the right one that fits us. It's proven to be difficult. So, now we're going to look at some A's. I don't want to drive no bus. I'll drive the bus all um, the time. Yeah, she said, yeah, she says that. And then I'm going to be driving while she's asleep. Passenger Princess sleeping. Maybe you're trying to live full time on the road with the most comfort you can afford. Enter the Aria Class A by Thor Motor Coach. This diesel Class A is on the Freightliner chassis with the Cummins 6.7 liter engine. It can sleep four to eight people and tow up to 10,000 pounds. Outside, you have up to 240 cubic feet of storage with pass-through compartments and slide-out drawers. There are power awnings for sunny days, 
and an exterior 40 inch TV on a swivel bracket with Bluetooth capability. On the inside you have a 10 inch touchscreen in the dash with Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto along with prep for Sirius XM. You can see everything on the road through the massive panoramic windshield but have the safety of blind spot protection and a backup camera. Moving to the living space, there is a large sofa and a booth dinette with seat belts. For my families with small children, there are two child anchors for car seats in the booth dinette. This area also features a 50 inch television on a televator for those rainy days. The kitchen has all the conveniences of home and an additional pull out countertop if extra space is needed. Moving to the middle, you have two bunk beds across from a full bathroom and a linen closet. There is TV prep in the bunk bed area, which also has sliding doors on each side, making this a separate sleeping space. In the master bedroom, you have a king tilt-a-bed with wardrobe space and washer and dryer hookups. The bathroom is large with double sinks and a large shower. Lastly, there is a hideaway bunk over the cab and the sofa and dinette convert to sleeping spaces. If you have the money to spend, this will make you feel like a rock star on the road. When I say I am tired, I am tired. My feet hurt, my knees, my hips, my back, it all hurts. Yeah, climbing up and down out of these RVs, vans, buses, everything you could think of yeah. is tiring. But it was worth it. I think we got some really good information. Hopefully you guys like what we put together and maybe it'll help us narrow down what we wanna go camping. Yeah, if y'all got any ideas or any choices that you think we should take a look at please let us know in the comments because we are trying to narrow the search down yeah but asking for your help would be very helpful yeah comment down below what do you think we should get a b c is that everything or fifth yeah. wheel comment all right thank you guys for joining us don't forget to hit that thumbs up button it really helps the channel like and subscribe if you want to hear more about our adventures and our RV experience and travel and all the above. Thank you guys for joining us.